key to overclocking the CPU, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, is to keep it cool. I love it when you just like take all this stuff and you put parts all over the table. Parts? Oh, we got parts. This looks like a it really does this look like an fun. autopsy. So you're gonna show us how to cool. A fan super can cool. only do so much. Right. Okay. Even a fan like this. Well, that's a that's actually a fan for a an actual. What do you call those that's things? Mainframe case. It's that's a little a overkill. Monster fan. All it's right. a little bit fun. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what. We're gonna we're talking about water cooling, right? Radiator right. in your car. Right. Very similar concept. What does it do? You you cycle water through the engine block of the car. The water picks up heat. It goes through the radiator. It, the radiator is, blows air through it. Is that because water conducts heat better than air? Well, yes. Okay. Uh, you know, it's basically, it's, it's easier to become hypothermic. Your body loses more water, energy in right. water than yeah. it does in air. Same right. thing for your CPU. So we have here a little water cooling system. Look at that. I like this. The, the copper fins are to draw the... Uh, Exactly. The, uh, the heat off. This is a system from Infinipro. The yeah. radiator itself. Here, I'll hold it while you. There's a radiator. The other... There's a tank with a little pump inside. This of it. is what he was filling up, and I thought, I thought he was just going to trick somebody by putting water in their aqua velva. This over here, you can't see it. In their aqua okay. velva jar, but it's not aqua velva. That's the. Uh... And it's got a device to actually you you press down on the top of your PC that actually conducts water through you know what it. what scares me? Away. It's got a 12 volt DC motor in yes. there. Is it a good thing to have that in water? Well, it's it's an it's a submersible pump, Leo. Okay. So, matter of fact, like probably a, have submersible aquarium. pumps in your home. Yeah. Really? Right now. Oh. Well, right. Do you have a basement? No. Anyhow, we'll talk about that later on. I have a sump pump. Now, I should say that. Now, let's take a step over. This is the Infinipro kit, seventy-eight dollars. It does not include the radiator, which is another fifty-four dollars. But altogether, uh, about one hundred and thirty bucks. Do you need the radiator? You need the radiator. I mean, in theory, you might be able to do it without the radiator. If you want the serious cooling, you need the radiator okay. with the little fan pulling air. Now, they sell it as well. They sell that as well. Okay. Fitapro.com. Take a step to your right, Leo. All right. We'll pull the giant fan out of the way. This is, is a little more sophisticated. This is from Coolance. This is a $200 kit, but tell you what. This is a case. This is a case. So you it's get got a lot for 200 bucks. Three big fans up on the top. It's mm -hmm. got a temperature monitor, a little LCD that comes on I the like front. That. And they already have pre installed the, the reservoir. They have two pumps. So you have two pumps going all the time because they figure two is better than one. Right. Very Navy SEAL of them. And you've also got another, you know, this but slaps down the CPU. Now, I like this because it's only a little bit more, but you get the case. Yes. Which means it's it doesn't probably doesn't come with push. a power supply, but you do get the case. Okay. And, but they have some pretty cool options. We want to slide a little bit over to here. And what we see here is they actually have a hard drive cooling plate for $34. Oh, that's nice. goes in the that's next nice, year hard drive. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, these new high-speed hard drives, the 7,500, 7,000 Exactly. RPMs, they get hot. They get and coolers for your graphics card and your chipset for $23 a piece. So this would this would yeah. go onto the surface surface mount onto the graphics card, and then that the coolant would pass through these uh, little. One thing I said, the Infineon here. kit actually comes with a a uh, water block, both for your CPU and for your chipset on your motherboard. Ah, okay. Now I had a little trouble with the coolants. I actually just a few minutes before the show did not remember uh -oh. what comes in the manual. When you install the coolants, this is what holds the water block and the coolants down on the processor. If you don't turn it till it clicks, which feels like it's going to break the chip, it's not. Turn it till it clicks, or you're going to fry an AMD Athlon just like I did. What? That's four. You I, did? I, 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 you, I, I fried. You fried another one? I fried one. <laughs> fried another one. My own personal one. That's two of my own personal ones I've fried. Oh, now, oh. just for fun. we got to start a So we got another Athlon one. Fun. We got this one's running at 1,470 oh hertz at 40, 140 megahertz on the front side bus. Oh. I took my system up. My system maxed out with the stock fan from AMD, maxed out at about 1,575 megahertz. So you're overclocking. You're running it at faster yes. than the rated speed, and the cooling becomes so important when you do that. Yes, it does. In fact, yeah. you may not be able to successfully overclock at all unless you have the over. By the well, way, I've decided. I just decided. All the proceeds from poor Leo's 2002 computer almanac are going to go, I just want everybody to know this, are going to go to the Patrick Norton Needs a New AMD Athlon Fund. Both dollars. In about them. three years, you should have a new <laughs> Athlon. Turn Here's what we're going to do. This, the stock AMD fan is actually great. I got it now on my 1600. And I should say the 1600 didn't really fry because of the Athlon overclocking. It fried because I improperly installed the cooler, the cooling block. If you hadn't even okay. overclocked it, it still would have cracked. Well, with the stock AMD cooler, it ran at 150 megahertz on the front side bus. That took okay. it from 1400 megahertz up to 1575 with the stock cooler running pretty cool. About That's 50, pretty good. 50 uh, degrees. You, you bumped the bus from 133 to 150. Yeah, so we're gonna have a little fun here. We got lots of goop are, on here. Our, what do you need? Goop. We got goop. We got goop. So we're going to clip this down on I'm there. I'm so nervous here. 
No, this couldn't nervous, hurt you, could it? Couldn't it? Could hurt? No, could, could, like, couldn't could hurt fly, anything. A piece of it fly into my eye? Well, well, that would be an interesting thing to see. I'm going to install this on backwards just for the sheer unbridled joy of it. Hey, Leo, you want to hand me a? Uh, oh, the screwdriver's right here. What, here. what do you need? Twist this thing down. Twist that thing down. You want Twist me to do that? that? There you go, Leo. Okay. Twist that thing I'll down. I'll do that. Okay. Feeling good? Yeah. Is ah! should it's I wait good. till it clicks? No, that one you don't want to click. That's good. You're you're, you're gone. Hand tighten. Should I do the other one as well? You know what else we need to do? We need to power this up. We don't plug this in. It's going to be a long, ugly afternoon. I shouldn't me. really be doing anything here because I don't want to be one another fried Athlon. I'll tell you what. Let's get into delete here. Okay. So delete. you actually booted this computer. Yep. You don't have a fan on it, Patrick. Yes, you're do. running. I've got a water cooler. Is it go? Is it going though? Yeah, is it, it is. on? Oh it's yeah, it quiet. is. Quiet. These it's are very amazingly quiet. quiet. Oops. Let me. You know, it's it's probably quieter than my my regular PC fan. That's great. Let me restart. So that we've got the the fan on the uh, radiator. Mm-hmm. Fans on the radiator. <laughs> Well, it's it's not the prettiest way okay, to restart, fan, but it does work. The fan's work. going, okay. So the fan's on the radiator. The water's mm -hmm. being pumped uh, through the plate that's on top of the chip, right. and it's being cooled here in these copper fins and then pumped back around. By the way, it, it's feel, it feels cool. I mean, I don't feel this. Of course, we haven't been running it that long. And now he's getting into the BIOS. This is we're going to try to overclock it here. Yep. Uh, we're current front side bus is at 100 megahertz. Uh, we are going to go to how fast do you want to go? What's the native speed on this chip, Yosh? 1400. All right, manually. We're gonna. How fast? How can we go? Here. Oh, we're gonna He's go. He's turning it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn All it up. right. To 150 megahertz. You wanna go farther? Let's go to 160. Jiminy Christmas. Now, again, cooling can make a huge difference here. Uh, but the chip also has to be capable of it. Not all chips are capable of right. it. So cooling helps the chip. I should say, you, you don't turn it up 10 degrees at a time. You Normally turn it up a couple degrees at a time. You restart yeah. You turn it up a couple degrees. You restart Wow, that's getting hot. You're kidding me. Yeah, I'm kidding you. He is kidding It's not hot at all. Let me hit the reset. All right, let's see, how, let's see if it's reliable. Water cooling is kind of a finesse. A lot of people, uh, people don't do this really. It's expensive. This is an overclocking solution. This is something if you're like really paranoid about noise coming from your system. All the money that you saved on buying a cheaper chip, you just sunk into a water cooling system. Yes, but you can use this for mini chips in the future. Leo. <laughs> it's fun. It's crazy. It's, it's nutty. Fun. All the cuckoo kids are doing it. This is it. for fun. I'm and actually going to get one for my system. And for bragging home. points. That's how Kyle Bennett got started on. Yeah, so this one reset. That was too fast for this chip. We're gonna we're gonna see what we end up with the final. Right. By the end of the show, because I've never, I've never overclocked this particular chip before. To find out the nitty gritty details of water cooling your PC, we got a quick spiel for you at thescreensavers.com.